Hiya, it's Nicholas here, the Crouch End Cricket Club Web Administrator. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how to uh, record a result and a score sheet into the ECB Play Cricket website, uh, which is where we're now hosting our score sheets and our statistics for Crouch End Cricket Club. Um, there's a couple of things you'll need to do before you're able to um, edit a uh, score sheet. The first thing is you'll need to sign up to the ECB Play Cricket website. Uh, there's a separate video about that, and uh, I'll include a link somewhere hereabouts, probably in the notes. Um, the second thing you'll need is results administration privileges. Now, that's something that I'll give to you um, once you've signed up to the website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to cec.play-cricket.com. Now that is Crouch and Cricket Club's uh, little corner of the ECB Play Cricket website. Um, once you're here, you'll need to sign into your um, ECB Play Cricket uh, account if you're if you haven't already. Um, so up here in the top right, we're going to click on Sign In. Now my details are all filled in already, so I'm just going to click on Sign In and uh, get rid of this bar and we'll see again up in the top right that we're signed in um, our name will appear uh, over here nicholas lister um, with this uh, little arrow next to it indicating that there's a menu underneath it we're gonna so we're gonna go up there and click on our name and then click on administration um, the admin home page will open up and uh, the links on the left will be determined by um, what administration privileges you have. So uh, if you don't see all of these, then don't worry. Um, it's uh, it's just because you don't have the same administration privileges that I do. Um, for the purposes of this, um, for recording results, you'll need uh, results administration privileges. And uh, by having those, you'll be able to see this uh, results link. If you don't see the link and you feel you need uh, those privileges, uh, you need to be able to edit results, then um, get in touch with me and I will look into it. Okay, so we're going to click on uh, the results link over here on the left. Um, we get this screen where we have um, a summary of all the games that we have fixtures for on the uh, play cricket system uh, over the last week um, if we need to we can edit the uh, the time scale of that so we can click on this start date and let's head back to the middle of last year um, and click on search and it'll come up with uh, everything in that period um, but what i am going to do is uh, I'm going to fill in a result for a game I've set up between the first 11 and the second 11. Um, and uh, that happened yesterday, according to the system. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I found my, uh, my, my fixture up here on this table. Uh, and then I'm going to go over to the right and uh, on the column edit result, I'm going to click on the little pencil. And this takes us to um, the edit result page. Uh, and this is, a, you'll see there's a number of tabs across the top here. There's uh, the summary, which is the kind of overall details for the game, who won, what the score was, um, when it was played, uh, where it was played. Um, there's the, uh, the teams, the two teams that we'll need to fill in, and then the two scorecards that we'll need to fill in. And we'll work through those in order. Um, the system will take us through those uh, as we go on. Now, I'm not going to take you through the whole process because it's quite long, but it's uh, fairly self-explanatory. Um, the system does a very good job of guiding you through it and uh, pointing out problems where you've encountered problems. Um, one of the good things about the um, ECB play cricket system is that it allows a lot of um, areas to be left blank if you don't know um, the details of them. Um, there are different ways of doing that. So in some of the numerical um, areas, you'll just be able to leave them blank. Um, but uh, when you're confirming a team, uh, you'll be able to click unsure for a player name. So um, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here and I can leave this overs column blank. I've already entered some details here um, before. And then I'm going to click save and that's perfectly allowable. There are other um, areas that aren't allowable, but uh, but the system will, will flag them up if you if you miss them out. So work through this work through um, all the fields, fill in as much detail as you can.
The other thing I want to point out before I leave you to it is that when you're filling in a team, you can't edit these player names directly. You have to use these two buttons over here. So um, if you're not sure who the player was, then click unsure. We can go down to player three and click unsure and you'll see it's filled in or click search for a player. And in the, the search box, we can uh, look for, well, I'm going to look for Ahmed. And uh, let's use uh, R Ahmed. So I'm going to click on pick and you'll see it's filled in. Um, you'll need to select a captain and a wicketkeeper. Um, if you want to find a player um, and you search for them and they're not there, ah, no one's there, then click on add new member and you can enter a new person into the scorecard. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's all the, the little niggles and gotchas. Um, I am going to let you um, carry on and work through the rest of the system on your own. Um, so if there are any problems, then do get in touch. But uh, otherwise, that's it.